Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, share with you for a few moments uh, the next few weeks in our senior high youth ministry and what that's going to look like and just kind of give you an update about those things. And uh, before I did that, I just wanted to thank all of you who came out last night for the worship night um, encounter. And, uh, you know, our, our heart really is just to provide an atmosphere where you guys can encounter God because encounters with God uh, is what transforms us um, as we take in the Word of God and and, and we take in His presence and, and just sit in His presence. He touches us and transforms us. And so I pray for those of you that came out last night that you experienced a special touch from God because those are the moments that you're going to take with you. Um, those are the things that I remember. I don't remember a word of any sermon that my youth pastor preached, but I remember those intimate moments at the altar. And so we'd like to create those uh, opportunities more often as we move forward. Next week, uh, it's going to be really... Neat's going to be special. My wife and I are going to be sharing together uh, in in uh, service, and we're going to share about being a good steward of your money uh, as, as we're kind of going to continue again with this series on, on uh, how to be a good steward and why that's important. We're going to tackle the area of money and just kind of share with you um, from our journey, and it's going to be good. My wife is the money guru uh, in our marriage. Um, uh, I, I would spend all the money in a day uh, if I could, and and uh, what she has to say about this topic, um, you're going to want to hear. So um, it's uh, you know I thought I could preach on it, but um, she's the expert in the area, and so um, we're going to do it together. It's going to be a really great thing. Uh, you won't want to miss out on next Wednesday. Then the twelfth, we have one of our own students who's going to share. Uh, and uh, again, this is just one of our hearts is, is that we don't do everything as leaders, um, that you guys would rise up and would uh, be, become empowered and emboldened and really step out in your gifts. And so one of our students, I uh, just spoke with him last night, he's going to share on the 12th and it's going to be a really cool night. Uh, and uh, we're also going to take the opportunity that night to honor some of your parents. And uh, it's okay. Don't don't get don't don't be worried or get concerned. We're not going to do anything crazy or catch you off surprise. We just want to honor your parents in a special way. And so we're reaching out to them as well. And then the week after that uh, is actually the Wednesday after school's out. So uh, big amen to that. Uh, we're going to do something combined with the junior high, uh, just to kind of cap off the end of the year and. And, uh, and to treat you guys for all your hard work throughout the year. And and uh, just want just wanted to take a moment to share uh, these next few weeks with you. It's going to be great. Uh, and then we're going to launch into a busy June, busy July, and a busy August. And uh, so, uh, as we always do, we just want to let you guys know that we love you. And we're here for you. And uh, you can you can reach out to, to me anytime you, you need me. Uh, you can reach out to us as a leadership team anytime you may need us. Uh, and uh, just important for us to keep you guys updated. So the next few weeks are going to be really, really great, uh, and we hope to see you there for those. So praying for you today, that you have a great day, and that you know that God loves you uh, and uh, that he created your life for a purpose. So look forward to seeing you next Wednesday.